So this is my computer science degree with 30 plus classes, which costs around 2 crore rupees right now in the US. If you want to do in the US, but which pretty much gave me 1 crore plus placement in the end. Were all the classes that I took as a computer science student worth it? Do you need a college degree? Let's find out in this video. So hello everyone, I am Harnoor and I was a computer science student and I currently work as a software engineer at Microsoft and I was able to get my dream package, dream job and usse pehle main batana chata hon, I am very very privileged because I chose a major computer science which gives you higher package in tech as compared to other fields like civil engineering, mechanical engineering. So I feel I'm very very privileged ki maine ek aise field choose ki, I chose the major which could give me my dream job with highest placement and something which I love doing. So now let's do a breakdown of my degree and all the classes I took, what I learned from those classes and which classes I thought it was not necessary to take and how you can actually take advantage of this degree to learn the most important concepts to become a software engineer. So before starting, I really want to tell you that we have a habit that if you want to become a mathematician, you will take math classes. If we become a chemistry ka teacher, you will only take chemistry classes. Loge. But this is not how it works in the US. Especially for undergraduate, aap classes lete ho, you take classes other than your major as well. So your degree consists of your major classes. If you're a computer science student, computer science classes. Then some science classes. Then, because it's a STEM field, science is mandatory. Then some electives. Some are mandatory, some are optional. And then fourth is some core classes which USA as a country or Georgia, the state I am, makes you or force you to take. So start karte hai sabse pehle my favorite classes, non-related to computer science degree, which actually made me good at communicating, good at writing, good at learning and good at understanding, which is none other than English one-on-one. -on -one. So for every student, if you are of any major, chahi aap US citizen ho, nahi ho, aapko English one-on-one -on -one and English one-on-two -on -one in my second semester, leni padegi, you will have to take it because these classes help you get used to the US culture. It teaches you how American English is written, read and understood and they make you read an interesting novel as well. So in this class, I read a novel called not Invisible Man, not Helen Keller, not CVSC novels, but about US culture, which was called Enrique's Journey, which tells us about the struggle of Mexicans who cross US-Mexico border. So it was so interesting. I really learned a lot and these classes are not like India, ki aapko exam diya jayega, you have to pass the exam. This was class of writing. I wrote so many interesting things that I learned from that novel. And there was one homework of that. Second homework was picture worth thousand words. Just me aapko ek picture diya jayega, you have to write in your own words two, three pages, what you learned from that picture. And you have to break it down step by step and they teach you everything. And number three thing that I learned was how to write a research paper because as a computer science student you should know in american english how research paper is written because agar aap kabhi research karte ho koi bhi class ho aapko ye kaam aayega so that's why english one on one and one on two both classes combined are important to shape you as a computer scientist ya fir software engineer so these were the english classes which us makes you to take if you go to europe or if you go to other countries you might have to take german spanish etc so this is for us now let's talk about electives so what are electives electives is something that helps you explore what your passion is hamara passion kya hota i think the definition of passion is ki aap jis cheez ko Experiment karke seek pao. I think passion is not something you enjoy doing immediately. Let's say agar aap guitar baja rahe ho, you're playing guitar, aap agar ghatiya guitar baja rahe ho, if you're not playing it well, you will not like it. You will not be able to tell that it's your passion because you think you're not a good player. But if you work hard and become a good guitar player, you will say that I am a good player and it is my passion because I have tried it out. So this is the definition of passion. So that's why US forces you to take elective classes just you have different fields explore kar paate you are able to explore about music culture spanish languages some us history some other cultures in usa which actually makes you more aware and you learn so many things from them so in this category i took so many classes let's talk about the mandatory us electives that are forced to be taken if you are in georgia state in in the state of georgia in us or in us number one was us history american government and number three World history. World history was optional for me. I could Spanish, German, but I took it because I wanted to learn about history. So these three classes 
taught me about how US was made, how uh, Texas was the 29th state, the presidents of United States, how we can learn from the mistakes done by previous presidents, how we can learn about the good things done by US presidents and all of the history combined in these classes, which I did not like. I did not like these classes, but at the same time, it helped me make American friends. So yeah, let me tell you, in USA, if you want to talk about which community ke log hai, with who are the people who are able to make most diverse friends? Are those Indians? Are those East Asians? Are those Europeans? Can you guess? Kya Indians are diverse friends in the US? Mein? The answer is, it is Europeans and Indians are a bit behind in this category because Indians are living with just Indians. Indians are friends with Indian food. They're not mixing that well. But by taking these classes in my undergraduate degree, I was able to make friends of different culture, different, uh, different background. I could learn from them. I could do homework with them. So when you evolve by taking these US related classes, this was the biggest benefit for me. And even though I struggled in American government, politics, and what is gerrymandering, a lot of terms came and it was it was quizzes, multiple choice questions, writing, and I was not enjoying that much, but at the same time I learned a lot. This culture different. I didn't memorize one date. They didn't ask me who was the president in that year. There was no cramming. But the questions were like, what are the things you can learn from XYZ president. For, for example, Franklin, uh, I forgot the last name. For example, uh, Polk, all these president names. What, what you can learn from these presidents? So these were the kind of questions in the form of essays were there. Us a movie bhi thi. They asked us to watch a movie and express in your own words what you can learn from those movies related to US history, world history, American government. So kafi acha structure banaya tha. There was also a class which in which we watched Ramayana as well in world history. So Indian culture ko bhi kafi zada wo se present karte hai. If you want to learn about world religion, you can also take that class. So these were some mandatory electives that I had to take. Now let's talk about non-mandatory, which means you options di jati hai. For example, non-mandatory electives include languages, which means German, Spanish, or all sorts of languages. Le sakte ho. Even Hindi is one of the options. And Punjabi is only in Canada. If you Punjabi, learn your own language. Hai. And other, other electives were perspectives. Other were music and culture, media and culture. Other were related to religion, other were film, if you want to learn acting, you want to become an actor, singing, all these kind of electives were open to you and you could take them. But I took the easiest ones. Number one I took was music and culture because it was completely online and our rule was you can take one online class in a semester. So this was online class, I was able to, you know, finish easily, weekly, little bit assignments and media and culture. In these classes, I learned about Concerts. You concerts attend concerts. I was able to attend my first concert for free thanks to this class. And I could learn about different music. I didn't know that music is so genres. Hote because I was very noob. Sakte I didn't know like jazz, country music. I was never exposed to these kind of music. But I was thanks to these classes. And I took Spanish 101 as well. I made a lot of things. And I could make I could practice my Spanish with the person I was sitting next to. But unluckily, COVID happened in the middle of the class. So I didn't learn a lot of Like Como Estas. Uh, BN, so a little bit conversation skills in Spanish I could learn. I wish COVID didn't happen, I could practice it more at the time, but I did get to learn Spanish. Other class I took was Perspectives 101 and 102. In this class, we learned a lot of interesting things. Number one was Privilege. As I told you, being a computer science student, I'm a, I'm a privileged person that we are given the highest package. Similarly, people who are Indians, who are white Americans, African Americans, all of these people of color and not of color, they have some sort of privilege. Just in US, mein kya hota hai? colleges, mein, there's something called affirmative action. Because of that, some people who are from less diverse background, which is not common in the US, have an advantage milti hai to get accepted to Harvard, top schools. But at the same time, because of lack of privilege, have opportunities become milti hai. So you are exposed how being of certain color culture, you have any advantages and what are advantages. Nahi hai. For example, they tell you that if you want to be a receptionist, if you are white, you have a privilege to, to become 
रिसेप्शनिस्ट इन द यू एस कार्स कार्स मैनुफैक्चर जो भी कार्स के सामने आपको एक हेल्प डेस्क मिलता है सम वन हु टॉक्स टू यू वेन यू बाइंग लेट से कार लाइक होंडा सिविक और या फिर टोयटा यू सी अ गर्ल देयर सो गर्ल हैज़ अ प्रिवलेज टू बी एट दैट स्पॉट सो ये चीज़ें आपको सीखने को मिलती हैं एंड यू आर गिवन अ न्यू डिमेंशन टूवर्ड्स द वर्ल्ड उसमें आप नए नए परस्पेक्टिव एंड साइकोलॉजी सोशोलॉजी सोचते हो आपको मजबूर करती है कि हाँ ये दुनिया कैसी है कैसी नहीं है सो इट गिव्स यू लॉट ऑफ मेंटल अवेयरनेस अबाउट वर्ल्ड इश्यूज एंड आई रियली एन्जॉय दोज क्लासेज एंड दोज वन ऑफ माई फेवरेट दे वर बोरिंग बिकॉज आई वॉन्टेड टू डू ओनली कंप्यूटर साइंस इन द बिगिनिंग बट स्लोली एंड ग्रेजुअली आई फाउंड द इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ दोज क्लासेस वी आर नॉट डन येट विद मोर इलेक्टिव दर आर टुक सच एज अबाउट कम्युनिकेशन आर्ट्स साइकोलॉजी सोशियोलॉजी यू कैन थिंक टेक दीज क्लासेज एज वेल आई डि नॉट टेक एंड आई एक्चुअली टुक माइक्रो एंड माइक्रो इकोनॉमिक्स एंड आई लर्न वाई यू एस डॉलर स्ट्रॉन्ग होता जा रहा है एंड आई एन आर की वैल्यू कम हो रही है सो ऑल ऑफ दीज थिंग्स अबाउट वर्ल्ड इशूज अबाउट स्विफ्ट काफ़ी चीज़ें आपको पता चलती है डिमांड एंड सप्लाई सो आई टुक दैट क्लास टू लर्न अबाउट दैट इफ़ यू वॉन्ट टू कैलकुलेट कि आपका कार लोन कितना पड़ेगा उसमें सिंपल इंटरेस्ट कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट ये सारी चीज़ें भी सिखाते हैं तो मज़ा आया था मुझे लेके नाउ फाइनली लेट्स टॉक अबाउट कंप्यूटर साइंस क्लासेस अब कंप्यूटर साइंस डिग्री से पहले आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू अबाउट माई फ्रेंड दोस्तों मेरा एक दोस्त का छोटा भाई है जिसने अभी ट्वेल्थ कंप्लीट किया एंड ही इज प्लानिंग टू टेक कंप्यूटर साइंस इज वेल एंड जब मैं अपनी कंप्यूटर साइंस डिग्री के बारे में सोचता हूँ मुझे लगता है कि क्वालिटी ऑफ एजुकेशन इज एवरीथिंग क्योंकि अगर आप इंडस्ट्री को ही देख लो इफ यू लुक एट पीपल इन टेक इंडस्ट्री काफी आपको लोग देखेंगे जो बारह बारह सोलह साल सोलह सोलह घंटे तक काम कर रहे हैं टू बी प्रोडक्टिव एंड एट द सेम टाइम आपको कुछ लोग दिखेंगे जो मेरी तरह यहाँ पे सिक्स टू एट आवर्स में भी इतनी प्रोडक्टिविटी अचीव कर पाते हैं जिन्हें सेम प्रमोशन सेम हाइक सेम सैलरी सेम बेनिफिट्स मिलते हैं ऐसा क्यों द रीज़न इज द बैकग्राउंड फ्रॉम देयर कॉलेज अगर आपने कॉलेज में जो जो चीज़ें सीखी हैं इंक्लूडिंग द कॉन्सेप्ट प्रोजेक्ट्स एवरी थिंग इफ इट इज अलाइन विद वॉट यूर डूइंग इन द इंडस्ट्री आपकी चीज़ें अगर पैरल हैं तो आप जल्दी से कैचअप कर पाओगे आपकी लर्निंग कव कम होगी एंड यू विल बी एबल टू ग्रेस्प क्विकली वेन यू आर इन द इंडस्ट्री एंड अगर ये केस नहीं है तो आपको प्रोडक्टिव होने में थोड़ा टाइम लगेगा एंड माई फ्रेंड्स ब्रदर्स रिजल्ट केम एंड रैंक इतने ही थे कि ही कुड गेन टू एवरेज यूनिवर्सिटीज ऑफ इंडिया एंड मैंने इमिडिएटली रिकमेंड किया एन ऑनलाइन डिग्री कोर्स इन कंप्यूटर साइंस फ्रॉम वन ऑफ द मोस्ट रेप्यूटेड इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंडिया ऑन कोर्सेरा फ्रॉम नन अदर देन बिट्स पिलानी एंड बिट्स पिलानी के बारे में क्या कहें इफ यू टॉक अबाउट एनी इंडियन यूनिकॉर्न whether it be swiggy big basket or zeta all are coming from this institute and when you graduate you'll be part of bits pilani alumni network which will help you be part of this community so getting a degree from here is like complete package of network as well as net worth the total duration of this degree is 3 years and kisi karan agar aapko beech mein pause lena bhi padta hai gap bhi lena padta hai you can still complete it within 3 to 6 years maine aisi flexibility kisi bhi institute mein nahi dekhi aur sabse important the faculties the teachers jo aapko milengi on this online degree are same as the one on campus to on campus और ऑनलाइन में कोई फर्क नहीं होने वाला नो पार्शलिटी एट ऑल एंड द क्लासेस आर स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम थर्टी नवंबर सो इफ यू और एनीवन यू नो इज इंटरेस्टेड डेफिनेटली चेक आउट विद द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बिलो नाउ फाइनली लेट्स ब्रेक डाउन माय कंप्यूटर साइंस डिग्री स्टार्टिंग विद सेमेस्टर वन द क्लासेज आई टुक वॉज प्रिंसिपल ऑफ कंप्यूटर साइंस दैट इज फंडामेंटल ऑफ कंप्यूटर साइंस जिसमें आपको एक लैंग्वेज सिखाते हैं दीज डेज दे आर टीचिंग यू पाइथॉन फर्स्ट बिकॉज इट्स ईजियर टू लर्न एंड इन दैट लैंग्वेज दे टीच यू फ्रॉम बेसिक्स इन माई केस इज जावर सो वेरिएबल्स डेटा टाइप्स देन लू Loops, then if statements, which statements, everything from basics, and they keep building up, and you get homeworks like that. And in the second principles of computer science class, which was semester two for me, in that I learned about data structures. They could have combined into one class. काफी बड़ी यूनिवर्सिटीज में एक ही क्लास में सब कुछ सिखा देते हैं. But in my school, it was a bit slow. So they taught me about data structures, little bit about arrays. Arrays. हम इंडिया में array बोलते हैं. यहाँ पे arrays, hash maps, and all of these data structures. were taught to me and they made me good at recursion which i struggled in the in my in my first principles to computer science class because it was slow it was easy for me to learn and grasp the knowledge i was at bit advantage because 11th 12th mein maine ip li hui thi informatics practices which were same concepts like these i already learned in my high school in india so i was bit ahead of those students and that helped me in third semester which was summer of 2017 which is not mandatory i did my internship 
at Panasonic Automotive. So these two classes and my background from India did help me in getting my internship. And US mein kya hota hai? Even if you're doing internship, you have to take that class and add it to your summer semester. Summer is not mandatory. You can go to India. Ho, but they, they force you to just register the internship as a class. Now before we talk about next computer science class in the third and fourth semester, I want to tell you the importance about maths and sciences because they force you to take mathematics, calculus. Like 11th or 12th, mein integration, differentiation, which we did, same are in US degree, but a little bit next level. So they force you to take calculus 1, which is differentiation, calculus 2, which is integration, and there's a little series bhi aa hai. And next is about calculus 3, depending on which school you go, you can learn that. In calculus 3, there are a lot of advanced concepts aate hai about differentiation, integration, etc. And you have to learn these things. And I was at an advantage because I took AP exam, advanced placement exam in India, which I didn't have to take here. So I straight took discrete math class. So I can easily explain that discrete math is a kind of class which you want to if you want to make a house, you make bricks from bricks, right? But you have to know how the brick is made, what material the brick is made from. So that is what is taught in these maths and science classes. Like maths, the discrete math class, you have to learn how computer science data structures are made. Graphs are math form. Mein pehle hai. Jo relations and function, if you have to learn 10th or 11th mein ek chapter tha, relations and function, वैसा ही इसमें दिखाते हैं कि जो सेट्स हैं आप सेट्स को करली ब्रैकेट्स में डालते हो राइट तो वन टू थ्री फोर एक लिस्ट एक सेट से डिराइव्ड है सेट्स और लिस्ट काफी रिलेटेबल है तो ये सारी चीजें आपको कंप्यूटर साइंस कॉन्सेप्ट्स मैथ के फॉर्म में सिखाते हैं सो दैट यू कैन लर्न कंप्यूटर साइंस क्लासेस इन द फॉर्म ऑफ मैथ फर्स्ट एंड यू हैव बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग वेन यू टेक डेटा स्ट्रक्चर्स अरेज Hash map is list, which you can learn easily. Seek ho. So that's why I took discrete math and models of computer science, which was linear algebra and it was about calculus 3. So, this way, you have matrices and determinants. If you have done 11th, 12th non medical, you can easily understand it. Because we as Indians are ahead of US education system in our high school itself. So, there are many concepts that you can learn. And IOTA, what is determinant and uh, determinant matrices, ko multiply, karna, add. Karna. So, all of these concepts were taught in that. Now, after these math classes, there is also science. There is physics and chemistry, which I have luckily in India. Mein hui thi, and I had AP credits, so I was able to skip. Physics, electricity, magnetism, parabolic motion, I skipped skip kar because my concepts were good in India. So physics, done. And chemistry, done as well. So I got very lucky. I did have to take one more chemistry class, but that was very easy. So these were the science and math classes which you have to Now let's talk about next computer science class. It was semester 3, fall which is August of 2017 to December of 2017. This is where I classes including data structures, which you have to learn about about hash maps, recursion, graphs, which you post-fix, pre-fix, which you can see on lead code to prepare for interviews, so all the things I will learn in data structures class, and which was a bit challenging, but I was able to learn easily. Next was system level programming. That was the second CS class of third semester, and I learned C programming language. Pehle Java, now C programming, and Linux operating system. So how to use Linux, command line, and all that hacking kind of stuff. It was very, very interesting. And how to do a little bit of cloud computing. So these concepts and a little bit of Python as well. So these were taught in system level programming. Number three class was computer organization, which teaches you lower level stuff. If you Java, Python, C++, that is a high level programming language. They teach you how computers they talk in bits and bytes, right? 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0. This is what computer understand. So how these languages are breaking down into byte code, 0, 1, 0 instructions, and how to how to actually debug in assembly language. You learn a new assembly language. Hai, and that assembly language through Microsoft Visual Studio, I learned, and I learned a lot. It taught me how we communicate with computer through programming language. So it interesting. Tha. You can think of as computer architecture as well. It was basics. Tha. Now, in spring of 2018, I learned next difficult computer science concepts such as programming language concepts in which they teach you how every programming language is related. Python, C, Java, they are related to each other and some are not. Some are objective-oriented programming languages, some are functional programming languages. So they teach you Lambda and other kind of different kind of programming languages. Takiap, next time when you go to industry, when you work at a company, you can learn any programming language on your own easily. So you basics basics what makes 
फंक्शनल प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज वट मेक्स ऑब्जेक्टिव ताकि आप इजिली समझ पाओ एंड यू कैन लर्न क्विकली बिकॉज वन वंस यू नो बोथ ऑफ दीज यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड अदर कोड एज वेल इवन दो इफ यू डोंट नो गो लैंग्वेज जैसे आपको नहीं पता यू कैन स्टिल लर्न जावर स्क्रिप्ट अगर आपको नहीं पता यू कैन स्टिल लर्न एंड अंडरस्टैंड थ्रू दीज कॉन्सेप्ट जो आपको सिखाते हैं विच वॉज वेरी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग फॉर मी नेक्स्ट आई टुक वॉज एलगोदम्स इन विच दे टीच यू हार्ड एलगोदम्स लाइक डिस्टेंस लाइक डाइक्स्ट्रा ए स्टार और नैप सैक लाइक ऑल ऑफ दीज डिफिकल्ट एलगोदम्स विच आई डिड नॉट लाइक बाय द वे because it was a bit challenging but it was important to crack interviews in future jo bhi concepts isme aap sikhte ho they are actually basics for dynamic programming agar aapko acche se inka table banana aata they teach you how to make a table so they taught me pretty much everything not everything but some of the things that are needed to do lead code so usse lead code karna aasan ho jata hai and next i took some data science related classes which i did not like which was not important but i was given option to choose your concentration aapko option di jati hai you can choose database mobile app development you can choose uh, data science deep 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 learning machine learning and अदर अदर सॉर्ट ऑफ कॉन्सेंट्रेशन जो भी आप चाहो ले सकते हो आई पर्सनली टू डेटा साइंस बिकॉज इट वॉज कंसिडर्ड हॉट ये फ्यूचर है ए आई आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस बट आई डिड नॉट लाइक इट बट आई कैन स्टिल टॉक अबाउट इट नंबर वन क्लास वॉज डेटा माइनिंग प्रिडिक्टिव डेटा एनालिटिक्स दीज आर द क्लासेज इन विच आपको डेटा को समझना सिखाते हैं ऑल इज स्टैटिस्टिक्स बेस्ड सो दे डोंट टीच यू मच हाउ टू कोड दे आस्क यू टू लर्न ऑन योर ओन दे जस्ट टीच यू स्टैटिस्टिक्स बिहाइंड data science jo mujhe bilkul nahi pasand aaya so i'm not going to talk about it you can take whatever you want to gain expertise in agar aap mobile app developer sikhna chahte ho aap wo sikh sakte ho now next semester which is fall 2018 is in my second last semester because i did my undergrad in 3 years so this was second year first semester so almost undergrad khatam hone wali thi so at the time i took computer architecture and software engineering so in this class you learned about डूइंग ए ग्रुप प्रोजेक्ट स्टेप बाई स्टेप राइटिंग रिक्वायरमेंट्स एक एक चीज़ को ब्रेक डाउन करके स्टेप बाई स्टेप कि आप कस्टमर से रिक्वायरमेंट ले रहे हो फॉर एग्जाम्पल एक आपको क्लाइंट कहता है एंड्रॉइड ऐप बनानी है तो टेल यू कि आप मुझे ऐप चाहिए जो एक एड टेक कंपनी के लिए बन रही है सो जस्ट एज एन एग्जाम्पल तो आप कैसे बनाओगे हाउ विल यू गो थ्रू रिक्वायरमेंट्स हाउ विल यू मेक क्लासेज स्ट्रक्चर कैसे अपना कोड डिजाइन करोगे हाउ विल यू यूज सम डिजाइन पैटर्न सो दीज आर द थिंग्स यू लर्न इन दिस क्लास एंड इफ यू टेक अ लुक एट माई डिग्री All of the grades are A, A plus B, and नीचे आपको दिखेगा good standing. So अगर आपको scholarship चाहिए because I got campus Atlanta scholarship, जिसके कारण my tuition fee pretty much reduced from वन crore to like ट्वेंटी थर्टी lakhs for the थ्री years. So if you want that scholarship, they make you कि आप good standing में हो आपके GPA. पी ए गुड स्टैंडिंग मीन्स योर जी पी एज मोर देन थ्री पॉइंट ओ इन माई केस इन सम यूनिवर्सिटी इट माइट भी थ्री पॉइंट फाइव सो बेसिकली इफ यू हैव ए आपको फोर पॉइंट्स मिलते हैं इफ यू हैव बी आपको थ्री पॉइंट्स इफ यू हैव सी टू पॉइंट्स एंड सी से कम यू आर फेलियर सो यू हैव टू गेट नाइन्टी प्लस दैट मीन्स ए एटी प्लस बी सेवेंटी प्लस सी सो बेस्ड ऑन दैट आपको हमेशा थ्री पॉइंट्स से ज़्यादा ग्रेटर देन बी इन मोस्ट ऑफ द क्लासेज सो दैट यूर एवरेज इज ग्रेटर देन थ्री पॉइंट ओ सो जो दैट यू कैन गेट अ स्कॉलरशिप और मेनटेन दैट स्कॉलरशिप गुड स्टैंडिंग ताकि आपकी स्कॉलरशिप बनी रहे फॉर द रेस्ट ऑफ द क्लासेज विच इज़ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ना लास्ट क्लासेज आर प्रोजेक्ट बेस्ड कंप्यूटर साइंस क्लासेज विच आई टू इंक्लूडिंग मोबाइल एप डेवलपमेंट कंप्यूटर आर्किटेक्चर सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियरिंग ये सारी क्लासेज में यू हैव टू डू वन टू टू प्रोजेक्ट्स एंड देर वॉज ऑल्सो ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम्स सो दीज क्लासेज में आपको नेटवर्किंग सिखाई जाती है ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम में एंड यू हैव टू डू वन प्रोजेक्ट वॉट आई डिड वॉज आई आई वॉज स्मार्ट मैंने एक ही प्रोजेक्ट तीनों क्लासेज में चिपका दिया so i will not recommend you to do it you can actually get away by submitting one project in different classes because those professors are not talking to each other but be very careful if the deadline is same or agar deadline projects ki different hai you can be caught in plagiarism right aap apne hi project mein plagiarism mein fas sakte ho because aapne apna hi code chori kiya so be very careful because of the fact that deadline to submit my project was same so when i submitted it so that's why i was not caught and it was more about presentation so that's why i was able to submit it is it could be called unethical but i will not recommend you doing it i was able to maintain my work life balance and classes क्योंकि मैंने एक प्रोजेक्ट दो तीन क्लासेस में डाल दिया था विच आई विल नॉट रिकमेंड यू टू डू इट बट इव मेड माई लाइफ ईजियर मोबाइल एप डेवलपमेंट वॉज दो प्रोजेक्ट बेस्ड क्लास विच आई टुक इन विच आई लर्न अबाउट आई ओ एस एंड्रॉयड डेवलपमेंट विच वॉज वेरी वेरी यूजफुल टू शेप माई करियर ऑफ वॉट आई एम टूडे बिकॉज आई एम राइट नाउ इन एंड्रॉयड डेवलपर अब बात करते हैं कौन सी क्लासेज यूजफुल थी कौन सी नहीं थी अब मैं आपको बताऊंगा एट द एंड ऑफ द डे बिंग अ सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियर वट आई एम डूइंग इज आई एम मेकिंग हाउसेज तो ब्रिक्स से आई एम मेकिंग हाउसेज नाउ इफ यू आस्क मी कि मुझे जरूरत है 
to know all these knowledge how the brick is made as an analogy kiya mujhe pata zarurat hai ki yaar math behind computer science architecture behind computer science mujhe zarurat hai i will say in most cases no i'm never asked how to reverse a linked list in my company aur kahin pe bhi maine kaam kiya aisa kabhi nahi hua so basically most of these concepts make you easier to understand computer science concepts for example physics chemistry mai abhi bhi use nahi karta i do not use physics or chemistry but these concepts can make you easier to understand code kyunki aapki problem solving skills better so you know physics ke aapne problem solve kiye hain uske karan aapki problem solving better hai but it's not necessary ki aap same problems company mein solve kar rahe ho aap samajh rahe ho my point so basically their goal is to make you a good problem solver good at thinking good at communication so basically jo pura package hai it makes you a good person and a good coder overall agar aapko main kahunga ki agar ek do classes delete bhi ho jaye na i will still be the same person especially the computer science classes kyunki mujhe lagta hai agar aap low level programming nahi kar rahe ho to majority of these concepts are not needed aap seedha code kar sakte ho java python mein aap easily software engineer basic python java se bhi ban sakte ho but these classes make you more aware and better problem solver so that will be the conclusion thank you so much for watching i hope this video helps and i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye